The Perseus is a formidable ship, boasting a large amount of forward-facing firepower, including six artillery cannons and a turreted dual railgun. It is a ship designed to strike ships bigger than itself. This does not mean it can't hold its own against frigates and corvettes though. The Perseus includes several Gatling guns and missile turrets to provide defences against fighters or close range targets. This is certainly an exciting ship to have a look at. Let's see what Syro has in store for us with a full tour. So let's jump straight into the tour and we're going to start with the exterior as we usually do going from tip to butt of the ship. <laughs> so coming around the front here we've got ourselves uh, these lovely artillery guns that are tucked in here we've got six of them so this is quite a good bit of firepower we've got a singular camera though i'm not seeing a backup that could be a little bit risque if that gets shot up and this area of these larger ships knowing from our service is a primary target for enemy vessels coming down below we've got a little bit of a communications array nicely detailed with a complete antenna so it actually works as a communications array for sending messages and signals now coming into this section you can see there's a little cutout into this area I quite like this i like how they have have the contrast between this blue armor and this black gray sort of car armored elements the contrast is just beautiful so coming back here we can see where we've got some half built piston heads there as well as a few small little panels just great in that sort of detail and stagger and you can see as I move away from the distance it creates a, a whole new depth and shadow to each one of them design areas now of course we've got some overly complicated probably pointless piping over here let's see if it actually is pointless Yes, so it is, it is pointless. It's not necessary, so destroying these won't be a critical blow to the ship. And we've also got some reinforcement areas with some blast doors. We've got this lovely sort of um, staggered ladder effect support going along the bottom of the ship. It imagines if the ship took a big, a big hit, that could brace it enough. Now let's have a look at the weapons itself. So the designer of this has decided that they want to be able to try to take on larger ships, and going with the artillery turrets in the front like this is a very very good setup so we've got one on either side and you can also see from the frontal area as we move to some distance all three of them cannons will be able to fire at a target ahead of it including the manually fired ones there as well they've got a little bit of protection around them but i really like these uh, stairs that i've been adding here as a little bit of venting so as we come up into this area, we've got the kind of main PDC defense. And what I like is there's actually access ladders in here so that engineers can come up and conduct maintenance on these turrets as if they're in battle. Of course, they have got a little bit of a risky walk to get themselves out here. But once they are, they can grab themselves a welder and start maintaining and fixing up them turrets. Because if your turrets go down in a fight, it's almost game over. So we've got some more heavy firepower artillery turrets down at the back here. We've got some cute little thrusters tucked away in here. Very nice indeed. And we've got some thrusters tucked away in the side. Yes, there's a lot of external thrusters. I know people aren't big fans of that in many respects. But they are quite well protected. So we've got the second area here where this catwalk and this sort of command and control medbay area in the centre is. And it leads up with a lovely little detailed segment here with some nice atmospheric lights here to create the orange glow effect. Up to the large remote control railgun. Two railguns in this configuration are absolutely deadly and due to their setup they do have quite a large pivot up and down of course there is an exposed hinge at the rear but that's kind of a bit of trade-off for that firepower coming down the side we have ourselves a docking bay now the docking bay i'm not too sure if it would be very useful unless it extends out from a station since the rear thruster tucks out there but you've got a full docking bay and decontamination area i really like the idea of this integration of this side window here so you can see who's stepping in from the airlock perhaps if you're getting boarded or breached it would be quite cool as well now coming into this section we've got some reinforced armor acting as venting some more gatling gun turrets and a bit more detail going on into this iron thrust that's tucked into here so we actually got a hybrid ship we've got hydrogen and iron on this particular design allowing it to get in and out of planets still it's going to be quite heavy now coming at the engines i really like the idea of this have a look at this so we've got the beams and then we've got this extended armor block around the edge and it just creates this glow of ambience in that gap between and then tucked in the middle there we have some ion thrusters so a really cool engine bay and you can see how it's staggered with them three cells and then it's got the final cell down on the side coming below we have got ourselves some rear facing gatling gun turrets to deter people from trying to breach the airlock and we've got this cute little docking bay here i, I like the idea of the little neon lights and the zigzag so people don't try to dock a ship that's too big it's got connected 
connector ports of course up at the top and it's got a tiny what I would describe as loading bay going on here very very nice indeed and these catwalks also kind of come to a upper level where there is some sort of dock command station i'm guessing so you could access doors you could fire up lights and and deal some other information when it comes to trading i'm guessing so the pipes are all pipes up there real nice detailed section that i really do like that and then coming along this side we've got pretty much identical and of course if it was unidentical a lot of players would have some big issues with that so let's head on inside so i'm going to bring my character over here and we're going to experience what it's like to board this vessel. So as we open the door, we get blasted away by a bit of air. So there's no decontamination at the moment. And then we open up that section as everything pressurizes. We can drop our suit off. So we have got some auto opening doors and we have got some scripts running on this ship. So we're into the med bay. So let's head back here. And you'll notice that there's a little lounge with a bar and there's a store contract ATM. So you just, people could use this ship as a little bit of a hub so this vent is depressurizing and this leads around the back so if you're coming through the side airlock or you're coming through there you're going to be able to access the cargo bay and do various trades and other things this is the little door to the command room that we saw before and we've got some little bits of hangar control going here we've got connector switches we've got a trading mode so we can access or a switch between the modes on the connectors that a lot of people don't think about that's something quite important so other players can actually dock with you and trade so moving into there sealing this door up behind us we should be able to gain access back through this frontal cabin into our airlock segment and then we'll move forward through the ship so we've got another little locker room and we've got an interior layout of the vessel there so let's continue our way up. Some real nice use of the different interior blocks here. So we've got maintenance thrusters, O2 generators. Let's head on in here, seal up that airlock behind us. Something Aaron always forgets to do. So this is a decompressed area. But look at these interior hallways. These are lovely. I, ever since this block was added, it makes like maintenance shafts so much more exciting. And we've got a little computer, some spare parts for the maintenance people to work on. And you can for, thoroughly get into every area of the ship so if thrusters go down you have access to it so it means that engineers can get down here and perform maintenance something that a lot of players forget on other ships and if you can't maintain your ship especially when it's in combat it is pretty much as good as dead and with the new rail guns people will be popping them out left right and center so this is a little access shaft to the central plumbing here we'll go back down we'll work our way back through this little shaft and we can continue to our main cord corridor we'll seal that up and we'll go up a stairs so that was a lovely little maintenance area i like the ambience of the, the maintenance area as well with that orangey glow so this is an armory you've got a desk to work on whatever weapons or whatnot you're doing suits um, other bits of ammunition that you could store in the lockers there for your crew we've got living quarters mess area crew quarters so an area where you can do some briefs and you can also have some lunch if you want to it's a nice bit of an immersion isn't it a bit of role play We've got what looks to be a little lounge area with a jukebox. What, what's on the jukebox? Let's see. No tracks available. They haven't set one up. And then we've got crew quarters here, so where people can log off. I like the, the compactness of the double bunk. And we've obviously got a little window up there as well. So coming through here, we have a very bright white bathroom. Very cool indeed. And let's continue on back through the ship. So very nice to see these detailed areas. It's, it's bringing this ship to life. It also makes it feel like it's it could be lived in you could travel with a reasonably sized crew so we've got medbay and hydroponics through here medbay very bright white i don't want to come in here after a bad sunday or something with a few sloppy drinks so there we go lots of glass hydroponics and it looks like they've they, they've got a hologram of some sort of pine tree in there so i'm guessing this is to represent them growing all their food Med bays here, simple, nice straightforward so i think this is a good mixture of a ship that could be quite functional in combat but also um, quite pretty to fly around in. So we've got the brig, all oh, very important for naughty crew members. Yeah, it's got its own little bathroom and desk. And it's got a little blast door over here. So I'm guessing, I wonder if that's to, to stop the guy rushing you on the way out, if, if he tries it or something. And blast him through the hole. Carrying on through here, a little window to the side. And we're at this cool little viewing deck. There's, there's a real big interior for such a small ship. Well, I wouldn't say it was small, but it's not the, the giantest of ships. So we've got munitions through here. Let's seal up that airlock behind us. I'm guessing this is a depressurized area. Yes, it is definitely now. And back into this moody ambience that is this maintenance section. Spare parts along this corridor. And more importantly, access to the plumbing. 
so you can continue to wire up all them turrets that'll go off to the turrets to the side and we've got access to our gyros down there if we access it, use our jetpack so super important let's continue down so going back through there we've also got a little maintenance shaft down there as well so we could grind away at that and work our way through there if we do need to fix some components up more spare parts plenty of these parts on shelves and it's great because these shelves do represent what's actually on it in a, in a lot of ways so if you build up one of these shelves it's another way of storing the the components in a, a like a visual aspect so coming back through here we're nearly at the central hallway and up so we've got the cic and we've got the gravity generator so let's have a quick look at the cic so another little reinforced area complete with turrets and security We've got quite a safe car here. We've got the control seat. We've got the whip scripts running, as you can see. And we've got servers and reactors back here. Reactor access. Dun, 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 dun. Lead you back here. Look at this reactor room. It's beautiful, isn't it? This, this is a really nice idea. I hope you're taking some notes of how to do an interior on a relatively small ship. Because if you're like me, I build the exterior first and then try to cram all this inside. So it's got whips, rapid fire weapons scripts. Let's go and have a look further forward. So that's the bridge, the control area. We'll be back there to pilot in a moment. Into the gravity generator, just a simple storage room, just like that. So heading into the CIC, let's grab ourselves the control stick and see how this thing handles. Okay, so we've got speed acceleration. We've got very good gyroscopic movement left and right. Let's have a look at our acceleration. Oh, that is a very good acceleration. It's probably eating some hydrogen though, blasting them forward. That's what you need. Let's see how fast we can stop. So a bit of a slower stopping speed, but this ship does seem really quite maneuverable that I'm liking. Let's have a look at our cameras. So we've got front cameras, port cameras, starboard camera. We've got jump drives toggled up, and we've also got that front volley. So what I have done is I have set up a Perseus as a little bit of a target behind us. So we're going to bring this ship around, and we're going to engage it with some of the weapons. And we'll have a look at what sort of damage it can take as well. Because from what I believe, this ship looks primarily light armor. It could be a light and heavy armor hybrid. It seems to handle like a, a light armored ship. We'd have to get out and have a look with the welder. So LCDs are coming online. Let's have attempt to lock that target. Okay, we have locked it. Let's just confirm it. Yep, so there we go. We have got it dead ahead of us. And let's let off a little volley. Okay, so them artillery cannons are some serious, serious destruction. The turrets ain't really being that effective in space edges at the moment. So I'm not going to mess around trying to get them to target, even if I do set that other grid to enemy. Let's have a look at this railgun turret, though. That's what I'm, I'm intrigued to have a go at. So we've got number nine, and that access is... Oh, look at this. This, is, this, is, this tracks quite smoothly. And then, of course, let's pick ourselves a little bit of a target. We might have to pull the ship down a little bit, like so. So you've not got much sort of low aiming area. Now, we know the reactors and everything is critical in the back there. So let's take a shot kind of at the guts in the middle. And let's have a look at this thing fire from a nice dramatic perspective. Oh, love a railgun. Okay. So that has gone clean through it. So definitely light armor the railgun is absolutely devastating especially when it blows out bits on the other side and then we've got that recharging up we don't have any sort of system the other thing is we don't have a super power drain when they're charging up because some people don't power the ships correct so you can see we're barely using any power just doing this simple movement so a very very effective ship let's have a quick look at that jump drive let's activate a jump drive as well and just have a quick look at these power usages oh yes go on perseus and we're out of here. So could this hit? Could this do its job, in my opinion? I think this would be very capable. And I think if you stripped out some of the, the fancy interior bits, um, you could replace them with more functional survival bits if you did want to use this as your survival ship. What the hell has happened here? I think I have I have bugged myself out. That is a perfect time to wrap this one up. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Check the link in the description if you want to see the Perseus for yourself.